Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Avant Quads of VO 3.5. You should know that as objective as I'm going to try to be during this review, and really all reviews, I have an affinity for Avant Quads quads, and uh, this one's really no exception. They build them like I like them built. Uh, they fly well. They're tuned well. Uh, there's just very few complaints I can ever really find about Avant Quads quads at all. So if you're interested in the Avio 3.5, which is that new iteration that we've been seeing at 3.5, or really any of the quads that you find over at Avant Quads, if you use Avant 5NB, they'll know you came from this channel and you get 5% off and the channel earns a little bit of a commission as well. The Avio 3.5 is powered by Brother Hobby 1504.5 3950 kV motors. And on those motors are HQT style props, 3.5 by 2 by 3 tri bladed props. FPV camera is the Cadex Baby Retail. All in one board is the JHE MCU GF420 all in one flight controller that has a 20 amp ESC. It comes with Betaflight 4.2.9 with RPM filtering enabled and it is tuned nicely. The VTX is the JHE MCU 5848 Mini that is power switchable from 25 milliwatts on up to 200 milliwatts. And on the VTX is the Rush Cherry antenna. Down on the flight stack, I have an FR Sky version, so that has the XM Plus in there. Battery mat is rubberized. Avant Quad uses my favorite tape to secure motor wires down to the arms. You can see there the flight controller is soft mounted with gummies through that all-in-one. We also have a capacitor, and the battery lead is secured down just like I talk about on every quad that comes to the channel. The arms are individual arms, and they're replaceable by taking out two screws. Arms look to be 3.5 millimeters thick and about 6 millimeters wide. Very bottom sandwich plate looks to be 3 millimeters thick. Pieces securing the arms on the top look to be one and a half millimeters thick. And the top plate is one and a half millimeters thick too. It weighs just over 121 grams. In the full flight in the video, I use this 650 milliamp 4S battery, which is a tiny battery for this quad, but I love it. And with that battery, we're at 198 grams. I get over four minutes of flight with this little battery. I've also flown it on this RDQ Series 850 milliamp 4S battery, which brings our weight up to 220 grams. With this battery, I can get over six minutes. So the day that we got here is smoking hot. I think it was 96 degrees and uh, the, the feels like temperature, which I think the Weather Channel likes to call it, was about 104. So slippery goggles on my face this day. And you'll notice I have a speck of dust or something on the sensor on the uh, image on the left hand side, kind of midway, kind of far to the left in the midway. And uh, unfortunately, I kind of thought with Caddx cameras, we'd gotten away from that here recently. So it might've been a little bit of bad luck. Uh, it doesn't bother me a terrible bit, but I assure you that I'm sure if you were to show um, Avant Quads this sort of footage, they would get the camera taken care of. Of course, we can do that ourselves if we're very careful, take the camera apart, blow it out, uh, don't blow on the sensor too hard, get that dust off of there uh, and uh, secure it back up. But Again, I, I kind of thought Canex and their camera game, they had gotten past having dust or debris inside the camera case or on the sensor. But, uh, this one is, it is, I've flown three or four of the 3.5 inch varieties that we've been seeing most recently. Now, mind you, the other two, the, the GEP RC and the Emax were both HD or Vista versions, so they had more weight to them. But this one... This one just flies better because, you know, it's got all sorts of thrust and power to give us. You know, it's uh, this combination of this motor, and this motor is very smooth. They've used this motor on, uh, I think, a different KV on 3-inch props as well. But I, I find this motor to be really good from Brother Hobby. It's nice and smooth, it's efficient, it's powerful, and you put this prop combination on here, and I was, I was pretty impressed. And, and you can extend your flight time by decreasing your camera angle. You know, I have a certain way I kind of like to fly, and I think some of you like to, to watch the flights or maybe fly similarly to me. And, you know, I get four, over four minutes of flight in this flight. I get six minutes on an 850, although I uh, crashed out most of the time on the 850. Once I get past two and a half minutes, my sort of, not my nerves, but my focus doesn't seem to be there. So I, I make silly little mistakes. A lot of times they're uh, what I call worm burner sort of crashes where I, I just don't get on the throttle enough as I'm doing a, a hard 180 turn around a tree or something like that. So I end up tumbling. Uh, you do get an extra set of props. And if you're looking at their website, there's all sorts of options to order an extra arm or, or 
other little bits and pieces, they have these drop downs. You can have a, a spare lipo strap, a, a spare battery pad, I suppose, um, standoffs if you were to need that sort of thing. And one of the things that I really like about Avant Quads is I rarely, if ever, hear a complaint. I think the most serious complaint I've ever heard about Avant Quads is someone breaking an arm. And I, I, I guess if that's how averse we are to breaking an arm on a quad, I, I understand to a degree, but these things we are also hurtling them through the air. And, you know, crashing is part of this hobby, and repairs and cost of repairs are part of the hobby as well. Uh, full disclosure, I should have said this earlier, uh, this had a receiver in it that would fail safe at short range. Actually, only had one fail safe. It was probably my first or second flight. I don't recall for certain. And unfortunately, on that crash, we did have a VTX problem. So, uh, replaced the receiver, also replaced the VTX with the VTX that it comes with. They use a lot of the similar parts across uh, many of their different quads and got back in the air. That's the first time that I've had that happen. Um, I have had other FR Sky XM Pluses that uh, didn't work very well and you'd end up with fail safes, uh, fail -safes and, and various other sorts of issues. Maybe sometimes you just have RX loss sitting on the uh, table there when I try to take off and it's like, what's going on? And then it would come back. Uh, so I, I, I get chalked that up mainly to just bad luck. You know, Avant Quads is picking their parts and when they Customer selects FR Sky, they have a receiver they go to. Uh, we're wrapping up the flight here. Uh, you might look at the battery. I run a touch low, but it's still, by the time we go back to the home screen, we can see that we come back to 4.45 volts per cell, which is really close to where I want to be. And we had a flight time of 4.03 with really a lot of punch outs, in my opinion, up and over the house and some pretty good speed as well. This section of video was my table cam, and I keep forgetting to do this. I've mentioned it a few times. I really like that line of sight view that we can have with the camera, and it gives us a little bit of an idea of the speed, uh, because sometimes we lose that sense when we're in the goggles, the speed that we can get just zooming around in there. And uh, so I clipped out a few sections of some flights, and you can kind of see where the camera's pointed in my normal direction. But you can see me zooming kind of through the space, maybe from a punch out, uh, going around the trees. And it gives you another sense of how quickly this thing is moving, because it is quite powerful. Okay, I think uh, let's start with my first complaint. <laughs> um, I, I really think Avant Quads ought to sell uh, HD camera mounts with especially three inch and larger quads, naked mounts. I know we can design those ourselves. Ourself. I, I, I guess I mentioned this selfishly as uh, this particular quad I see as a quad that if you wanted to do uh, a more smooth style of exploration and cruising that you might want to have an HD camera. And because the weight is low enough, I think uh, with the 650 milliamp battery, we can get anything from a, a naked camera, an Insta360 Go 2, or even a full-sized GoPro and still be under that 250 gram limit. So I think them making and having us an option for us of selling uh, some sort of HD cam mount, um, it would be something I think would add some value to it as well. You know, it's really hard for me to pick these things apart. Avant Quads does really everything. If I were building it, I would build it very similarly. You know, I might try different parts because I like to try different uh, parts. That's something that I can bring to the channel is success and failures with different parts. They stick with what works for them, what they find works for their customers. Uh, their 3D prints are always very clean. I, it's, I can't really complain about the 3D print. Uh, that's the camera angle I was flying at as well. Uh, and we do have a little bit of camera protection. The TPU isn't gonna do much. You know, if you go headlong into a tree or something, do expect to break the, break the lens on your camera, but you can get replacement lenses as long as you haven't jammed it back and broken the sensor or damaged the sensor in some way. But, uh, you know, if you did a pole or a tree branch or anything right in there, as with most quads these days, this will do something, but if you're dead on and you're going fast, it's still going to flex and bend in enough to damage the camera. So don't rely on that 100% to provide you with a camera uh, protection. Something is better than nothing, uh, but it's not going to be 100%. Uh, the Rush Cherry antennas, they've been using those a lot, and uh, they're a very popular antenna on quads, very durable. Uh, in this case, they don't have the stem. It's just got the wire with the UFL connector down here. So it can keep things, again, very, very light, which I think is one of the goals at 3.5, is to get as much quad as you can and still th stay under that 250 gram limit that 
um, is in, going to be imposed on us eventually, at the very least, unless you have a Part 107 license. Uh, the TPU print around here at the back uh, holds the antenna nice and securely through my crashes and flights. I didn't find this move, moving around at all. So that, that's a good design and it secures that down. The, the worst part about this print is that I find it goes down like this with relatively with relative ease. You know, a little tiny bump and it goes down there. It's, it's not a big deal. You can actually, with my fingers when I push it down, you can kind of feel that it just kind of pops down because of that V design in here. But it stays there just fine. This is how they mount their antennas. This is not their mounting, of course. This is my mounting. So I have more of my antenna ends sticking out than they do. They tend to stick them out just a couple of millimeters, just enough to get the job done. Of course, if you wanted to fly at maximum range, it's best to have it in kind of an L. So you would have one antenna coming up and one antenna coming back. Um, but of course, if you're going for maximum range, I would surely suggest uh, using something built specifically for max range, like um, Express LRS, Crossfire, Ghost, Tracer, those things. Uh, an XM Plus is going to get you pretty good range, but it's not truly made for long range. So you keep it within, you know, a couple of football fields. Um, whereas those other protocols I mentioned for longer range sort of flying, you're going to outfly the VTX with those, it seems like. Uh, the battery lead here was just right for me to be able to put my battery in here. Uh, like so and then I take my battery and I turn this let me turn that down I turn this and then I just loop it back around lead up so that I can connect the antenna or excuse me can't connect the battery lead antenna that's ridiculous talk too much about the antenna so that's how I secure my battery because I, I don't want the wires wiggling around and I do this pretty much on all quads I want things to be fairly tight but not you know really tight we still have to be able to get our fingers in here so we can unplug the end the uh, I almost said antenna again the battery lead um, and plug it in and unplug it as well uh, the zip tie in there that's also my doing from replacing the uh, XM plus receiver and there is a print right here by my fingernail. It hits on all four posts. And it's just kind of a, a dog bone or, or uh, I can't think of another good word. It's it's a fairly light, slim mount that you just zip tie the receiver down to in there. Uh, and they've been using that on uh, a lot of their quads. You can see here that we've got space for a strap to go through when we've got an indent. So you could make this top mount if you actually wanted to. And with a 650 milliamp battery, it, like I have here, it's going to be fine. It shouldn't get you in your camera view. Avant quads oftentimes will make a freestyle version, which is typically top battery mount, a little bit of a longer battery. You could even run this 850 top mounted if you chose to. Of course, this top plate is only 1.5 millimeters thick. So if you come down on a, a crash to where you smack your battery, you know, this, this isn't going to be ideal for making sure that the top plate doesn't break if you choose to mount it up here. Now they're recommending, obviously, by design to mount it to the thicker bottom plate. So take that into uh, consideration if you want to do it top mounted. But as of right now, if you're wanting this quad and you want more of a freestyle edition, it's not here yet, but should be shortly. Again, if you go to the AvantQuads.com website and you want to purchase this or any other quad, which I recommend everyone have at least one Avant Quads quad, because then you know you've got a well-tuned, well-built quad, in my opinion. Use the code AVANT5NB and you'll get 5% off and the channel earns a little bit of commission so that the channel can buy other FPV things, which is what we do, what I do on the channel with all the revenue the channel creates is I buy things to bring to the channel. Sometimes vendors won't send me something and that makes me curious, so I'll go out and buy it and I'll bring it to the channel. Sometimes they just don't send it to me for whatever their own reasons. Sometimes they don't send it because they don't like what I have to say about the product. <laughs> And that is the Avant Quads VO 3.5. Avant Quads making their own edition, their own stylings from their, their frame style and bringing it to that new uh, 3.5 inch prop that we've seen become fairly popular. And quite frankly, for me, that seems to be the best way of getting, as I said, under that 250 gram limit and getting as much quad as you can. Four inches of possibility, but we start to give up a lot of durability trimming down the arms, trimming down the carbon, because we still have to have enough motor to spin our prop and to handle the weight. I think this is a pretty good option, but of course, again, I'm very biased when it comes to Avant Quads Quads. 
I like them. There'll be a link down in the video description if you choose to check it out, take a look at the pricing. Uh, this particular one looks like it's about $220, depending upon uh, what receiver that you choose to get. The HD version will be available here in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Avant Quads is thinking they might have some that they can sell in August. So if you like this and you want HD, no need to carry an extra, an extra camera. That's another possibility. Uh, but uh, link down in the video description if you want to check them out. Don't forget that code Avant5NB. And look, did anybody notice a Brent Gowdy sculpture? It's a little blurry back there still, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking this right over here is going to be a better spot. I'm looking at cases and spotlights and doing something to really highlight it. But if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise about the Aveo 3.5, please let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.